Hello there everybody and welcome back to Try New Things where today uh, we're going to do another product review but this, the idea for this one actually came from my father so I was talking to him I guess it was quite a while ago and he said you know you could pack those vehicles in there a little tighter in the uh, the pole barn and I said to him I said you know how hard it is to back these in with the uh, the manual steering and you can't see because it's only got a mirror on one side and he said, well, what you should try out are those car dollies. And I knew what he was talking about. So last time I went to Harbor Freight, they happened to be on sale, but they only had two boxes or four dollies, enough for one vehicle. So I picked those up uh, and brought them back to the barn, and they've been sitting here for probably a month now. So today, what I want to do is put them underneath of the, uh, the M38, which is the tan one on the left. And if I like what I see, uh, I'll pick up some for the one on the right, which is the CJ5. And then someday, who knows, may get them for the uh, Dodge M37. But let's, uh, let's get the car jack and let's open up those packages and uh, get the dollies under the wheels under the tan M38 and uh, see how easy it is to manipulate and move around the pole barn. Stay tuned, we'll get right at her. So the reason why I'm starting with the uh, Willis M38 is because it has a leaky fuel pump, uh, which I need to fix. I've got one in the front seat, haven't gotten around to fix it yet. Uh, but it means I can't drive it anyway, so might as well have it up on these dollies and uh, easy to move around. So what I picked up from Harbor Freight were these Pittsburgh vehicle dollies, 1,500 pound capacity. Um, honestly, I don't know if that's 1,500 pounds per. Uh, in that case, it'd be 6,000 for four. Um, but you can't get a much lighter vehicle than this uh, old uh, Willis here. So we'll uh, get these assembled, get the uh, casters on them, jack up the uh, the Jeep, and throw them underneath. So stay tuned. All right, we've got all four dollies assembled. So now let's get the floor jack out and uh, get those under each wheel. All right, now for the ultimate test. See if I can't easily scoot that old Jeep a little further into the corner. We're going to interrupt this broadcast to give you a quick update. I'm so slow in putting these videos up that since the time I filmed the original product review for the car dollies, I purchased a second set a couple weeks later. Thought I would throw this update in, so now both old Jeeps are sitting on dollies. 
and uh, they work just as good and I would say I freed up about eight feet of barn space by being able to push these closer together but anyway just thought I'd throw in this little update now back to the closing well, there you have it, folks. Getting those dollies underneath the Jeep was as easy as can be. And actually pushing it over further into the corner couldn't be any simpler either. Uh, definitely a one-person job. Very pleased. Dad, as always, you're right. Uh, these dollies will make it so I can get these packed in here a little nicer. And who knows? Maybe I'll have enough room that uh, I'll have room for one more. But anyway, as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Take the time to leave a comment below. Love hearing from you. I read every one of them. And don't forget to subscribe. So until next time, bye-bye.